What's up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley, and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Sagittarius from May 25th to the 31st of May 2020. So take what resonates and leave how it does not. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, where your messages are sent correlate to your story because they are specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information how to reach me in the description box down below. Without any further ado, I have already gone and pulled your cards, so let's get right into it. Three cards of what you need to know, one card of clarity. This is going to be a bit of a holy shit what the fuck kind of spread. It's uh, This is unlike most readings that I've done before. It's it's going to be a little sticky. Judgment, the sun, the three of swords, the five of pentacles. For the tarot readers out there that are reading this, they're like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? So, I'm going to break down what this all means, what I think this all means. You have two... Mi <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god. Just out the window, we have the Judgment card. Major Arcana energy. The Judgment card and then the Sun are both Major Arcana. So this is going to be the primary for focus. I'm going to stress this. This is going to be the most important thing that happens to you during this time. Judgment represents a rebirth in a situation. It represents a karmic calling. You were put on a path for a certain reason. Something might have fallen out and been painful for you for a reason to get you in a new direction for you to be able to foster your own happiness. F to get you out of something that was making you incredibly sad, that made you feel incredibly left out in the cold, and it is to serve your purpose. This was happening to have served your purpose. Um, there is something coming into play for you here with these two cards where you are directly being called to something, to step into your calling, to step into your life purpose, to redirect your course. Something, If something did happen where a truth came out and it was kind of this, I'm getting for a lot of you, it could have been news that somebody was being shysty, like cheater, manipulative, stabbed in the heart. The truth hurts, that kind of energy, where it would have made you feel left out in the cold. This person could have deserted you. I feel like you were having... Here's the interesting part about this, though, Sagittarius, is that this came out for your outcome. So while you're going through this, to have this come out for your outcome almost tells me that I don't see that this thing, because this this is happening in order for you to heal this thing, I kind of get this as the energy where you you are still living through the situation. I think that this is early indication that things are going to get better, but I feel like you might be in contact with the person that had done this to you. I think there might be a rebirth here and a second chance, uh, but it might be something that what you wanted, whatever it is that you think would have made you happy, is... <clears throat> Maybe this person would have made you happy. Now you are recognizing that, no, no, not so much. Maybe not so much. But I'm going to pull clarity for what happens after this so I can kind of make more sense of this myself. Where does this go after the Three of Swords and the Five of Pentacles shows up? Eight of, eight of Wands. So there is going to be communication. I do kind of now see, since this, this is a good card, I think somebody is going to be communicating with you. I think somebody that has done this to you in the past is going to come back up. I think you are, might be addressing or healing these issues. It's possible this person could be coming back, especially with the Eight of Wands indicating swift messages that you might not expect. This would be very chaotic and fast. Fastest moving energy in the deck. However, for the mo majority of you, for the most of you, this is going to be something that you want. This is going to be something that you wanted. There is a rebirth here. However, it's still going to be painful when it comes out. I feel like you readdressing the situation, because I do feel like this is from the past. I feel like you readdressing the situation is going to relive the feeling of, oh my god, like, I was healing, I was over this, and now I have to relive. He came back, and I have to relive the feeling of... He, he really fucked me up. This person, they, she, really fucked me up. They really left me on the cold. They betrayed me. They didn't really tell me what was going on. They just left me on the cold like I was a dog. And now I'm getting communication from them. It's making me happy. I'm happy now, but why did this have to come back the way it is? Like, why this... I don't want to relive this, this painful truth that I have to relive in order to get what I want. This happiness, I have to get to this. I have to relive this. There has to be a rebirth in this situation in order to make me happy. For a lot of you, it's going to play out like that. Like, exactly like that. It's going to be a kind of similar situation. For others, it is working on yourself. It is working, being put on a path. 
to kind of take you away from that, but I do kind of feel, I do see this being readdressed. With judgment, it is something that is going to make you happy, though. Where does that, where, overall, what is this going to make Sagittarius feel like at the end of the day when all of this is said and done? Motherfucker, it's going to make you feel bound to somebody. So I feel like somebody is coming back from the past. I feel like you do have a connection with them. It could be a marriage. It could be an unhealthy addiction, drugs, alcohol, sex. This is a relationship, though, for you. It is going to be something that you are stuck to, something unhealthy, something where it doesn't really suit your purpose. I do kind of see this person coming back and you being like, yeah, like, okay, let's get back into this. Like, I want, I want this person back. This is going to make me happy. <sighs> It's going to make you happy. It is going to make you happy, Sagittarius. Is it going to be something that serves your purpose? Maybe not. Um, this is something that you are addicted to. You're lust with this. You are addicted to this person. I do feel like you have been learning and healing from this. And having this person come back is going to reopen wounds. I kind of feel like it's also going to get you stuck in a cycle of... This person is back. Do they want another shot with me? Some of them might want a second chance. Some of them might want a friendship. Some of them might want, might want something more. But I do see the possibility of marriage here. I'm hearing divorce. It could be somebody that you were married to. It could be somebody that you were in a relationship with. It's something, though, I want to stress this. This is going to be a rebirth. It is something that is going to make you happy. It is going to bring up pain in your situation. It's going to be a chaotic message. And when I say chaotic, I just mean fast, of how fast this happens. And it's going to make you kind of feel addicted, lustful to this person. It's something that I feel like you would want, though. I feel like this is something, almost like a wish fulfillment coming true. I feel like, be careful with that energy, please, Sagittarius. This is... I don't say that, I, I'm just, be very cautious of this. If this person has done you pain, at least accept the apology if they give you one. Um, be careful with your bondage to this person, because I do feel like you are connected to this person, and that you want to have the second shot with this person. That's going to make you happy. But you really have to identify if that is making you happy, or if not being alone is what's not making you happy, is... Speaking with somebody at all, making you happy, is this happiness something that you could have given yourself? Are the questions that you are going to be, need to be asking when this happens? Take that in mind. Take care. You know, this, this, I, I do see connection coming in. I do see communication. I see rebirth. And I do see happiness and healing. So it's, it's a mixed spread. This is a very interesting spread for you, Sagittarius. So take care with this energy. You have the warning. You have the heads up. You can choose to let this go. You can choose to take it on. You get to see where this goes if you would like to. Take care. Be careful. I will see you next time. Peace out, my moon tribe.